Hello and welcome to my latest video. Um, this one, I believe, is a, a first for YouTube, which I think is a rarity these days. Um, this video is all about beard styles, or how you can wear a long beard, uh, the different ways you can wear a long beard when you're out in public, um, which as far as I can find when searching hasn't been done before on YouTube. Um, oh, there's lots of videos about styling your hair, um, different styles, and particularly if you have excessively long head hair, how to do up, up, wherever it is. Um, as far as I can find, another video on how to, how you can wear, different ways of wearing, a, a long beard. Um, so, here we go, with a first. <laughs> it's quite exciting in a way. Um, so yes, there's different ways of wearing a long beard. There is obviously the easiest way of wearing it is the natural way, like this, just as it is. Make sure you give it a good brush. Make sure it's neat and tidy. Have pride in your beard. Um, this is my brush. Simple wooden brush. Uh, I'll bring it closer to the screen for you. That's it. Simple as it goes. And this this brush I've had for well I can't don't know exactly, but it's at least 28 years, and I'm only 31 years old. <laughs> I'll be 32 this year, so I've had it for most of my life. Um, I did ask my mother about it, and all she could say was, uh, all she could remember, should I say, is that I had it before I went to school. So that's before five years old. So, so there we go. Whoops, <laughs> that's the brush. Let's give it a good brush. And I think a little tip for you is also, don't just brush the front, but the brush underneath and brush the back. Because uh, if you brush just the front, it looks nice and tight in the front, but the back could still be a mess and our hair's all over the place. So brush the back as well. Uh, and I also use a comb. Uh, not to actually comb the beard, although you can do that, but be careful because of course a comb will snag in hairs. Um, and one little tip, with a brush, you can just go straight down like that. With a comb, it will get stuck, so you can't just go straight down. The other thing is to move it sideways like that, as you gently move it downwards. Um, and another tip with a comb is don't start at the top. Start sort of there, perhaps, and comb down there, and then move up to there a bit, and comb down there, and then move up a bit, and comb, and work your way down. Less t less snagging on hairs, less pulling, doesn't hurt your face so much, etc, etc. Uh, and I also use the comb, this is going to sound strange, but I also use the comb when I'm brushing my moustache. Because what I do is I'll, with my hand, separate the moustache, I'll then use the comb, like that, to hold that side to one side, while I brush this side, then move the comb to this side, while I brush that side. There you go, that's what I do, you don't have to do that. But anyway, that's just the, the natural beard. Um, the next, I think next most simple way of wearing a long beard is with one hairband, or scrunchie as I think they're called, around it. Um, these are the scrunchies I use. I've got a whole pack full, various colours. Um, I can't actually remember how much these were, but they were only cheap. There's like a pound, something like that. Um, various colours. Oh, one blue one in there. Uh, I'll just grab one. These came from a, a cheap shop. Um, not quite a pound shop, but a shop. I, I don't want to mention brands. Uh, a shop that's still a cheap shop. <laughs> uh, begins with a W. Let's put it that way. There we go. That's that's them. And of course, the simplest way is just with one of these and wrap it around several times. That'll do. There we go. I haven't quite done that right. It's pulling on that side a bit. It might have to adjust. There we go. And you've got one scratchy in your beard. Oh, excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, <coughs> oh, I am going to sneeze, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, that's one scrunchie. 
Um, only tip I can think of for one scrunchie is don't wear it too high up. Because if you, I don't know, I can move it up a bit without <laughs> dragging my hands. I mean, if you put it up a bit, you see, you've got this bit nicely uh, tied in, and then you've got the huge green bit at the bottom, which can look messy. Because it, in the wind, this will get blown around, end up sticking up all over the place, and look uh, almost like a fishtail. Um, you know, it looks, it looks silly, in my opinion. If you wear it slightly lower down, I can slide it back down again. Ah, where's that hair getting caught? <laughs> That's the trouble. Doing this hair's getting caught all over the place. No, slightly lower down. All this bit's kept nice and neat, even in the wind, it blows side to side. Uh, and you've got just a little bit at the end, which isn't going to get blown around so much. Looks a lot neater. Um, and obviously, progressing on from. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's better. Uh, progressing on from one scrunchie would be multiple scrunchies. Um, not good to sit here and thread several ones of my beard, but thanks for what it looks like, and it'll probably be easy if I show you a picture of that. Uh, there is a picture I found online. I don't know who the gentleman is, but it's a good example of multiple scrunchies. Uh, so here's that picture. So, yes, that was a gentleman with multiple scrunchies. Um, and moving on from just tight tight around your beard, you move on to plaiting your beard, or braiding it, as I believe it's called across the pond. Um, excuse that noise, if you heard it, that was the, uh, the, the postman's just been. Um, <clears throat> Yes, as I say, uh, plaiting or braiding your beard. Um, obviously, the simplest form of that is just one single plait. Um, and rather than sit here and plait it for you, it's, it's, I think it's very obvious how you plait. Um, I'll show you a picture of a previous occasion when my beard was plaited into a single uh, plait or braid. Uh, so here's that picture. So that was my, my beard in a single braid. Um, I've, I do that uh, if I'm going out for the day, I'll tend to plait it, keep it neat, stop it blowing around in the wind. Um, and on, I was going to say special occasions, so that's the word, um, excuse me, um, occasions where you dress up a bit, you know, suit and tie kind of occasions, I'll plait it, make it look a bit neater. Um, and the natural progression from having just one baby just have two braids or plaits um, and again I've got a photograph of oh, excuse me, myself with two plaits or braids um, so I'll show you that picture, here's that picture so that was the multiple uh, uh, sorry two plaits and braids um, again that was quite fun uh, I used it um, the first time for a fancy dress, Halloween fancy dress, I was dressed as a wizard and I had the plaits. Uh, which I do have a picture of and I'll show you that picture now. There we are, that was me dressed as a wizard <laughs> with twin plaits. Uh, thanks to my friend Donna for plaiting it on that occasion because it was the first time I had my beard plaited. Um, And the progression from two plaits is to have three or more, multiple plaits, braids, whatever you want to call them. Um, I, you know, I haven't done that with my own, my own beard, uh, but I have found a picture online of a gentleman uh, by the name of Kai Kofa, who has, in this picture, he's got multiple braids, plaits in his beard, so I'll show you that picture now. That's Kai Kofa with lots and lots of very fine uh, plaits and braids, very, very narrow. Um, the other thing I want to say about plaiting is, uh, I suppose it's kind of how to plait as it were. Obviously your beard is one, one beard, so you've got to divide it up. Um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, divide it up into three bits for plaiting. Now because I plait my beard I suppose on a regular basis, I do it <coughs> weekly. Um, 
when I go out. Uh, my beard at the moment, as you can be, if I take hold of this side and lift it up, uh, so I have to move a bit closer to the camera <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah? You see, you've got a natural break just there. So, what I do is I pull that apart, make sure the hairs down inside are separated. Uh, and I hook that up like that. Do the same on this side. If I lift up, you get the natural break again, hidden away. Separate that out. And then you've got the three bits for plaiting. And then I'll give you a quick demonstration of the first couple of twists like that. That's how you do it. And it gets plaited. Um, the only other thing I can say is uh, the first few is to keep your plait tight makes it neater for one. Um, so you sort of keep the tension on it as you're plaiting. Keeps it neater, but also there we go, um, what you don't want on the first couple of twists is you don't want the first couple of plaits, if that's the right word, twists, whatever you want to call them. The first couple of times when you cross the, the bits of hair over, um, <clears throat> you don't want that too tight. Um, two reasons for that. One, I find, anyway, it pulls on the hairs, um, and I, I find that uncomfortable. Uh, and the other reason is that it is really tight at the top. When you've plaited it, of course it becomes sort of almost like a stiff rod. And if it's tight at the top here, it sticks out. Rather than hanging down, it'll stick out because it's tight and being held up. So it's slightly looser, so it'll hang down. I can't tell you how tight it should be. <laughs> um, you have to do it through experimentation. Plat it, see what it looks like, see if it's sticking out. And if it's sticking out too much, you know it's slightly too tight at the top, do it a bit looser and it, it, it just have to play around with it and see what you can do. Um, that's, I think that's all I have to say about uh, how to plait a bit. Um, and the only other way of wearing a bit that I want to mention is um, a way of pinning up your beard so you can turn a long beard like this into what looks like I just <laughs> should I have a beard away? Like that. Looks like a short beard for the workplace. Um, now, I don't know who invented this method. Um, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it because you need um, hairpins, which I don't have. Um, but I can show you a picture, or it, it, it's a picture of several pictures showing the stages of doing this. Uh, so I don't know who invented it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's gentleman in the pictures, and I don't know who the gentleman in the pictures is, unfortunately, so I can't tell you his name. Um, it was a picture I found, uh, or, no, sorry, a picture I was made aware of, should I say, on um, the Beard Community Bulletin Board, um, which is the beard form you find at thebeardcommunity.com. <laughs> um, and it was a picture I came across there. I thought, that's marvellous. I like that. In the future, if I uh, want to shop for the workplace, I can follow that guidance. So I'll show you the picture. Um, obviously, if you want to follow how to follow the pictures, you'll have to pause the video uh, so you can see the pictures. Um, but I'll show you the picture now. Here it is. So yeah, that was um, <clears throat> how to wear your beard short for work. And it, it's quite amazing. You guys from the scrape with a long beard to a really short, <laughs> neat, neat and tidy beard. Not that his long beard wasn't neat and tidy, but you know what I mean. Um, well, it's for the, for the workplace, for work, workplaces who insist on having a short beard, um, it's perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that's, that's marvellous. Um, there's anything else I was going to mention, really. Uh, other than for more beard-related stuff, uh, check out my website, uh, theworldslongestbeards.com, uh, which looks like this. There we are. That's my very fine website, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, 
I, and I think that's it for this video. So those are your ways of wearing a beard. You've got the natural way. You've got one scrunch or a hairband. Multiple hairbands. You've got a single plait. Two plaits. Multiple plaits. <laughs> uh, and the short for work. <coughs> short pin it up to wear it for work method. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, thank you for watching. And... Uh, I'll see you in my next video, which will be, uh, hopefully, uh, in August for my three and a half year beard anniversary. Um, I say hopefully in August. Um, my beard anniversary is the 4th of August, uh, so hopefully I'll have it done shortly after that. Although I do have relatives coming for holidays, so <laughs> I can't say for sure. But hopefully it'll be beginning of August. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in August.